my channel, it's Belky's Beauty. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I got this fun pink purple makeup look using the Jeffree Star Beauty Cooler palette. If you guys are interested to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I've already primed my lids and I've set that with some powder. I've also just filled in my brows, so we're ready to go straight into the eyeshadow. And we have the star of the show here, which is the Beauty Killer palette. Ooh. This is what the palette looks like. So this is going to be my first time ever using it, so I'm really, really, really excited. I've been eyeing out this palette for like two years now, and I finally bought it and I got it a few months ago. But I've just been so busy and I haven't had a chance to use it. So I thought I would use it today and film this video, kind of like a first impressions. Um, I'm recreating the look that Kato Potato did using this palette, and that's the reason why I wanted to buy this palette, because it's just so gorgeous and the looks that she does with it is just so amazing. I'm going to leave a link down below to the video that I'm talking about. I also recreated this look on one of my friends for my makeup portfolio. It was for like a catwalk look that I had to do for one of my assignments. I recreated that look that Kato Potato did but I used my own product because I never had this palette. But now I finally have this palette and I'm going to be recreating this look and I'm super excited. I'm just going to get a bit of China White and just apply this all over my lid just sort of as a base colour. I'm just taking a fluffy sort of Kabuki style eye brush. Okay, now taking my Real Techniques base shadow brush, I'm taking the hot pink shade in this palette, the Star Power, lightly tapping into it. I'm really scared because these shadows are really pigmented, so I'm like, Aah. I've never used a pink shade as pigmented as this one, like, holy crap. I'm just applying it into my crease and blending it out. I just applied star power to my other eye and blend it out, and holy crap, this shadow is so pigmented, and you would think that like a really pigmented shadow, sometimes they're scary and they're hard to use and they don't really blend out, but this blended out beautifully. It, um, didn't take much to blend it out and it's it just blended out so seamlessly like it wasn't oh my god I gotta blend this out just blend it out beautifully I'm just gonna take a bit more star power just to sort of like create some more dimension to the eye I've been using this brush the whole entire time to blend it out blend in the crease blend it out Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the Morphe um, 35U palette. I'm just taking the white shade, which is a um, shimmery shade, and I'm just going to be applying this directly onto my lid, um, just with my finger. This is going to kind of be like the base color. So just on my finger like so, and then I'm just going to sort of stretch my eye and apply it to the lid. It sort of gives it um, a gradient effect. I'm going to go back into um, Star Power and just apply this a bit more into the crease just to sort of have a really nice crisp line. fun part I'm going to be applying some glitter today I'm using um, starstruck silver glitter um, from glitter my world to apply the glitter I'm just using my um, lip cosmetic glitter glue this is like the hands-down best glitter glue I've ever used I use it for all of my glitters it's just once you use this glue and you like pack it down on your eye the glitter isn't going anywhere it's not gonna move it's not gonna budge and it's like waterproof sweat proof this glitter is like really good Okay, so I've just got the glitter on a flat sort of concealer brush. You just want to use something that's flat and small so it, you can um, directly apply it onto your lid. I'm 
what you do to clean it up is you go back into the um, hot pink shade and then you're just going to carve out where you want the glitter and where you don't want it so it just has like a really crisp line. Okay, so when working with glitter, it literally gets everywhere, so it's all in my lashes. So what I like to do is just get a spoolie and just brush through my lashes to sort of get the glitters out. I'm now just going to be lining my eyes using the Stila All Day Liquid Eyeliner. Okay, so I just finished applying my eyeliner. They're a bit uneven, but let's pretend that they're even. So I ended up doing like a very thin sort of wing and elongated it a little bit. Now I'm just going to be applying some lashes. Today I'm using the Model Rock Urban Attraction Lashes, which look like this. So I've applied my lashes and I just did my foundation and I set that with some powder. If you guys are interested, I'll leave my foundation routine down below. To bronze up and contour my face, I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer from the Power Makeup Palette. So I'm just going in like a three motion on my forehead, the cheekbone and then my jaw just so it can look nice and bronzed. When I contour, I go from sort of like this bit of my ear and I bring it down like that and then I stop just above here. So it's sort of like that. Okay, I'm also going to be contouring my nose and to do that I like to take my little oval brush. This one, as you can see, it's really long and flat so it's perfect for that nose area. You can really just create a really nice crisp line. What I do is I very lightly tap into it. You don't want too much on your brush or else it's going to look really muddy and it just looks like a really weird line. You just need the tiniest amount and blend it out and then it just looks really nice and natural. So yeah, I haven't got too much on my brush. And what I like to do is I like to create a sort of more circle by the nose. <laughs> Here I have my blush palette and I really don't know what blush to go for. I'm not really a blush girl, like I go for more bronzy blushes but I wanted to try something different today so now I'm kind of stuck like what shade should I go for? This one with this one. Okay, so for highlighter today, sticking along the Jeffree Star theme, I'm going to take um, Princess Cut and Ice Cold and kind of mix these two together and apply them. This one is a pure white and this one is sort of like a light pink baby pink colour. Now going into the Morphe 35U palette, I'm taking this um, cool purple shade and I'm going to be applying this onto my lower lash line. Now I'm taking the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in the shade Suede Empress and I'm just going to be applying this all over my lips. This is a matte shade and I'm not really a fan of um, liquid lipsticks. Even though I have like so many matte liquid lipsticks, I'm not a fan of like that matte feeling on the lips. So what I like to do is I apply my matte liquid lipsticks and then I apply a gloss on top because um, the liquid lipsticks have amazing color varieties and they also have amazing pigmentation which is why I buy them. So I buy them for the pigment and for the colour and then I apply gloss on top and that way you know you have the best of both worlds. This is a cool tone purple colour which matches um, my under eye sort of lash line colour.
be applying a bit of mascara to the tops and bottom of my lashes. Um, this is the Essence Lash Mania Reloaded. So this is a final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. If you guys like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click that subscribe button to never miss a video. I upload every single week. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day wherever you are. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye!